Police in Turkey have recovered a Bible thought to be a thousand years old. In a world filled with ancient relics, mysteries, and hidden truths, scholars have found themselves captivated by an ancient artifact in the form of a book. But what if this ancient book held a secret that could change our perspective of human existence? A 3,000-year-old Bible allegedly documented by St. Barnabas, found in Turkey by archaeologists, has revealed terrifying secrets about human existence and many things we know might have to change. Join us on this thrilling exploration as we delve into the terrifying secrets hidden in the pages of this ancient book that have just been revealed. Number 1. The Gospel of Barnabas Bible believers have read the Bible over and over again, thus learning about the recorded events such as the life of Jesus and how he lived on earth. Although some of the Gospels do not correspond as a result of the different experiences of the authors, however, a 3,000-year-old Bible showed the entire world terrifying secrets, most surprisingly, that Jesus was never crucified. It is shown that the Bible was technically a book written by St. Barnabas. The book was found when a group of thieves were caught while attempting to smuggle the book and other treasures worth millions of dollars. The handwriting in the book is difficult to replicate and all the pages are made of animal hides. The book is estimated to be worth $20 million and is handwritten in Syriac, an Aramaic dialect which happens to be Jesus' native language. The book has been examined by several specialists who concluded that the it is 1,500 and 2,000 years old and possibly older. In the book, there is a text, the Gospel of Barnabas, which claims that Jesus was not crucified. Instead, Judas was. Judas's face and voice were changed to look and sound like Jesus, and Pilate ordered his crucifixion after which he was laid in Joseph of Arimathea's tomb while Jesus ascended to heaven while still alive. Another contradiction to the Holy Bible is that the Gospel of Barnabas does not recognize Jesus as the Son of God, but as a big-time prophet who brought God's word. Furthermore, the book accuses Apostle Paul of being an imposter. This was very strange, considering that Paul stands out among the apostles and has the most amount of epistles to his name. Therefore, people began to question the genuineness of the book. The information omitted from the New Testament is thought to be the work of the Council, which chose every piece of information in the Bible. Based on the details provided, it would seem that the Gospel of Barnabas was purposely omitted from the Bible. It is believed, however, by some researchers that the Gospel of Barnabas was omitted because there was no record of this death, making him the only saint whose death is not recorded in the canon. The ancient Bible raised so much curiosity that the Vatican wanted to see it. Number 2. About Demonic Possession The Catholic Church has a very long history and is one of the major denominations in Christendom. However, there are things about the Catholic Church that they do not teach us, for example, old scriptures and the Vatican's apostolic archive, a 53 mile of hidden knowledge. The archive contains tens of thousands of books which were supposed to contain records of historical events but not much is known about it. Millions of people regard the Bible as a sacred truth written by Moses and other people around 1000 BC. It tells stories of Jesus' miracles, like when he gets a great crowd with just five loaves and two fish and the famous parable of the Good Samaritan. The Bible is one of the oldest and most widely read books in human history, with an estimated five billion copies printed over its lifetime. Here's the twist. The original version has more books than the ones we have today. There are 14 texts in the original version that are omitted from the modern version. Naturally, it made people curious, and they began to search deeper in order to uncover this truth. The ones that interest people the most are the stories of complicated beings, such as demons and spirits. Demonic possession is said to be the influence of a demon or spirit on a person's behavior against their will. According to persons claimed to be possessed, common signs include memory loss, lack of control, and voices in one's head. Valak is a demonic being 
that has appeared in different horror novels and movies with different names such as Valu, Valak, Walak, and more. It is said that he has powers to find treasure and to control snakes to do his biddings. Valak is extensively described in the book The Lesser Key of Solomon. There are different beings similar to this Valak, but they are lost in history or locked away. It is suspected that there are volumes of these books hidden in the Vatican's apostolic archive, but they will never be released. As agreed by religious experts in Italy and Ireland, one of the major issues today is demonic possession, although there are warnings against spiritual abuse. Two of these experts from both the Vatican and Anglican, Father Dino, an exorcist from Sicily, sheds light on the Church's awareness of the debate surrounding sorcery, and there is Father Collins from Ireland who claims to be assisting people in coping with demonic forces on a daily basis. The modern version of the Bible also has records of Jesus driving out demons from possessed persons, such as with the daughter of the Canaanite woman. Catholic priests believe that there are different types of possessions, such as obsession, which involves the desire to end one's own life after loss of rationality. As is widely known, possession happens when a demon takes control of a person's body and forces them to do things against their will. Catholic priests are of the opinion that possession is partially the fault of the victims, as they must have done something to allow the demons to take control of their bodies. When demons take control of objects, animals, or houses, it is known as infestation. When somebody gives up their own body of their own free will, it is known as subjection. The possessed persons may show superhuman strength and communicate in foreign languages. The Catholic doctrine warns that demonic possession may manifest in the form of mental illness, and it is necessary to distinguish between the two. The approved remedy is exorcism, a ritual entrusted to the authority of a bishop in compliance with the guidelines. Despite the strict measures, people still seek aid from unofficial exorcists. Number 3. The Gospel of Thomas Bible believers are fascinated by some of the books omitted from the New Testament, like the Gospel of Thomas. The reason is fairly simple. The vision of Christianity in the Gospel of Thomas is very different from what most people think of when they hear the word Christianity. The Gospel of Thomas is not your regular Bible story. Instead, it contains 114 sayings attributed to Jesus. The sayings are variations of those found in the other known Gospels that is, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Aside from the 17th saying, which is also mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, no other saying in the Gospel of Thomas is found anywhere else. It is believed that the Gospel of Thomas was not written by the Apostle Thomas, just as the Gospels Matthew, Mark, and Luke were not written by them, but were merely attributed to them. The Gospel shows Thomas as Jesus' twin, as he had become similar to Jesus. How did Thomas achieve this? Through gnosis. Gnosis is a notion that salvation is obtained by understanding the true nature of reality in a mystical and experimental way. One needs to understand the true nature of the self. So the Gospel of Thomas exists to assist people in becoming similar to Christ. The Gospel of Thomas holds the belief that the kingdom of God is within you and all around you, as stated in saying three, those who come to know themselves will find it. The Gospel also holds the belief that the Kingdom of God being a spiritual state of being rather than a series of future events on earth is only accessible to those who acquire Gnosis now. The Gospel of Thomas stands on its own and has materials which are older than the first century AD. Where the Gospel of Thomas and the other Gospels overlap, the sayings in them still vary greatly. The Gospel of Thomas is mentioned and quoted by early Christian writers, meaning that it was popular in late antiquity. It was still used in the 5th and 6th centuries, despite the subtle act of some people to have it suppressed. The Gospel of Thomas has two copies left today, one in Greek and another in Coptic translation from the Hamadi Library. Number 4. The Handbook of Ritual Power the Egyptians already stand out because of their methods of writing and recording events. Two of their oldest written works are the Pyramid Text and the Book of the Dead. 
The texts contain a number of spells and ceremonies related to death and the afterlife, as well as papyrus scrolls with mystical formulae for health and prosperity. Also, there are curses contained in them. Of all these texts that grew with ancient Egyptian civilizations, one document stood out as unusual. This book is the Egyptian Handbook of Ritual Power. It is a book said to contain the secret of the lost Christian sects. The book is written in Coptic and has 20 pages. It contains spells and curses never seen before in any other books. The book is attributed to some mysterious figure, Bakhtiotha, who is recognized as Lord over 49 serpents. There was a Christian sect called the Scythians, and they are believed to be the authors of the book because of the illusion Seth. Number 5. The Book of Enoch According to the Holy Bible, Enoch was Adam's great-great-great-great-grandson and Noah's grandfather, who lived a faithful life to God. The Book of Enoch is divided into four sections. It teaches him about things like rewards, punishment, end of the world, and the big judgment. The first part, chapter 6 to 36, is about angels, the tree of life, Jerusalem, and the universe. The Watcher's book tells of fallen angels from Gen 6, 1 to 4, who seduced human women and created giant humans known as Nephilim. They taught humanity secrets, leading to the great food which wiped them out. Some people believe that God's sons are fallen angels and the Nephilim are a result of the union between them and human women. This point of view, which is still commonly held, is mentioned in the first book of Enoch. As a result of the argument that it is problematic to claim that angels or demons can breed with humans, some people are of the opinion that the Nephilim were sinful men. There is another belief that God's offspring are descendants of Seth, Adam's son, and the Nephilim are his family members rejected by God. This position is known as the Scythian view. The view is also of the opinion that mankind's daughters were the descendants of Cain, Adam's wicked son. The book of Enoch contains the parables of similitude. Similitude is the most concise type of parable. It briefly narrates an event from real life. It tells a story which is familiar to people. The parables of similitude is an apocalyptic book about the Son of Man and the Ancient of Days. The prophecies in the book are very similar to the ones in the book of Revelation. The prophecies span all of human history from the beginning to the final judgment. The structure of weeks in the prophecy are arranged in a similar way to the book of Daniel. The book goes further to explain how we should live. Here, Enoch teaches lessons about his life and how we are also subjects to God. There are stories of Noah that the modern version of the Bible does not disclose. This ancient Bible in which the book of Enoch was found has these tales in which we learn more about Noah's mission to save the world and the sorrows of Lamech, his father and Methuselah, his grandfather. The book of Enoch has illusions that contradicts the Bible as we know it. The Bible tells us that Enoch was taken to heaven many years before Noah's birth. However, Noah is mentioned in Enoch 10 verses 1 through 3. According to these verses, Enoch dished out information about Noah and the flood. According to the book, God spoke to Lamech's son in the presence of Uriel, In my name, go to Noah and tell him about the flood and when the entire earth will collapse. The Bible never mentioned that Enoch returned to earth. How could he have known about Noah and the Flood if he wrote the Book of Enoch? In the book, God blames a certain demon named Azazel for all the pollution in the world. Apparently, Azazel taught wickedness, which causes the whole world to be defiled. In the Bible, Lucifer, also known as Satan, is the only demon mentioned as such. He takes the blame for all our worldly troubles, as he is the originator of sin. Jesus stated in 1 John 3, 8, He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. Also, in Enoch 13, 50, it is implied that the falling angels repented of their transgressions. The Bible, on the other hand, teaches that Satan and his demons will burn in hell for all eternity, as seen in Matthew 25, 41, which states, then he will say to those on his left, 
Depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. The damnation of the devil and his angels to hell shows that they did not repent, for anyone who represents is promised salvation from hell. There are a lot of contradictions between the Book of Enoch and the Bible. One of such is the different ways in which heaven is described. In Revelations 21.21, 21, the ground of the city of heaven is described as being made of gold. But in Enoch 14 verse 10, it is made of crystal. Also, many of the astronomical and meteorological inconsistencies, that is, the description of stars and the atmosphere in the Book of Enoch, defy both the Bible and modern scientific knowledge. For instance, Enoch 33 verse 1 to 4 states that Enoch counted all the stars in the sky, which is impossible even by common sense. Jeremiah 33 2, on the other hand, indicates that numbering the stars is physically impossible due to their great number. According to science, the Milky Way alone includes approximately 100 million stars, in addition to millions upon millions of stars in other galaxies. Also, the Book of Enoch disagrees with other things, such as where El the wind, snow, hail, and moon come from. You probably now understand why it is not included in the Bible. Even so, the Book of Enoch has been described as inspiring by some. It contains information from creation to the final judgment. It should be noted that the first Book of Enoch is not scripture, that is, it is not inspired by God. It constantly contradicts the Bible. It is considered as pseudepigrapha literature, meaning one that is not included in Scripture. What do you think about this ancient Bible and its secrets? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like. If you want to see more of these secret revealing videos, subscribe below and we will see you again. Thanks for watching.